In this Blender tutorial we will model a low party sword by using a reference image. I'll focus on total beginners so this will be a very easy tutorial. In the left corner you can see the keys and input that I used so you can just follow along. The image reference that I used is from this link but you can just use any sword or any image that you can find online so that you can model along with me. So let's delete this cube here. Go into front view by pressing numpad 1 or hitting one of the keys on the axis. For numpad users you can just go to edit, preference, input and then enable numpad right over there. Then shift A, image and go to reference. Find the sword that you are using. We need to use it as a reference image and then load it up into our screen and it should be visible now in Blender. If you have better drawing skills than me making a stickman right here, you can just follow along with this tutorial and modeling from a reference image. And screencast's keys are now on the right. I already had to redo this part of the video because I accidentally disabled them on the left side. And there are also some settings above them. So you can just follow along with my mouse and keyboard input right here. So we have our reference image right here. And in Blender 2.9, I already told you like, make sure you have the reference and not the background. So this will make it an object in your scene and this will make it a separate object just for referencing. So now we need something to work with. So shift A, go to mesh and then plane. Right now it is not visible because it is flat on this surface as you can see. So we have to rotate it, hit 3 on numpad and then we have to rotate it, press R to rotate and then you can rotate it. You can also see on the right here, there are the degrees of rotation X. Now holding control, you can snap to five degrees increments or just type 90 degrees here. And then you can see it works. I also like to put this one a bit further. So hit three on the numpad again, G grab, and then on the Y axis, so I hit Y, I can put this one back. And now I can work with both and this isn't in my way. So again, front view is very important because if I model like this, it won't be right. So again, front view or numpad 1. And I go to wireframe mode, I'll hit Alt-Z or hit this button here. And then in edit mode, I can edit this one. So let me show you. I want to enable the mesh, so I hit the mesh. Then I go to edit mode or I can just hit tab. And now you see these dots here. While I'm in wireframe mode, I can see through them. So I can just drag these ones around and make my sword that way. So let's start by hitting them here with G grab and then dragging them around. Now there are of course better ways to do this, but this is just a very friendly beginner tutorial. So anyone can just follow along with this one. Let's first make the blade and then the handle for it. I will add loop cuts, so Ctrl R, I need two, and I will need to drag these ones around. This one, G, hit them here. Now I want to extrude these vertices, so you can hit one, two, or three on your keyboard, and I'm going to move these vertices, and I need to add them in the wireframe mode. Hit E, extrude them down, and I can just go like this. If they're a bit wide, I can hit S to scale and scale them in a bit. Hit E again. And to make sure I go right down, I hit Z to go on the Z axis. Right to here. Exert them again on the Z axis. Now I can scroll to zoom in. And then the middle mouse button to move around. Then I will hit these ones with G and grab them right here. So I make a point for that. And when I now look at my mesh on the side view, I can already see a part of my sword coming alive. Very nice. So now again, we need to extrude this one up. Right there. But you see this is a little bit wider, so I had a loop cut, Ctrl R, scale S a bit to the side, so this one is enabled. And extrude this one up on the Z axis, so we hit Z again. Now you can see it again. So I need to add these ones here. And I add two loop cuts, Ctrl R, scroll twice, click, and scale them up a bit. And for the last one, extrude one more time, and 
scale this one in as well. So, right now I just remade this model, but it's still pretty flat. I go back to object mode and I can hide this one. So I can click this one and just hide it or press H. Now, to make this one a little bit wider, I can select this one, go to edit mode, hit A to select all these ones, and I go into side view, and I press E to extrude, but then I extrude them out to this side. So right now, you can see, when I disable X-ray mode, and go back to object mode, that I have my basics for my sword enabled. So right now what you can do is texture them and put them in a game or something that you like. This is just a very basic tutorial where you go from a reference image to a plane and then model it by the reference image. So you now have a very basic low poly sort that you can work around with. Please like the video if you liked the video, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell symbol. That way you will get notified whenever I upload a new video. And remember to have a great day. See you next time.